Hi, my name is Alexandra and welcome to my channel. First of all, I would like to thank you all for such kind and warm words about my last video, being drunk with an illusion, codependency patterns. Uh, this video uh, was a very important one and I'm grateful and thankful that you appreciated it. And today I'm coming to you with a um, health video. And the subject for today's video is anemia and the emotional blockages, um, emotional patterns that you might have that are deep down within, serving as the background story for this disease. So maybe let's start from the scratch. Anemia, what are the symptoms of anemia? So if you know, uh, maybe you know a person who is anemic and suffers from anemia, I know such a person. So an anemia is a state that produces many types of symptoms that um, prohibit you from living your life to the fullest. What does that mean? You are constantly tired. You need external motivators like a um, chocolate bar or a cup of coffee, another one, or an espresso shot to survive through the day, for example, at work, or to simply keep going because otherwise you are very sleepy, you are very tired, you, have, you may have headaches or even dizziness. So anemia can be described as lack of strength and lack of power. And uh, a very important ingredient, or um, you know that people who suffer, maybe you know, maybe you don't, from anemia, they have iron deficiencies and they supplement iron. So when you take a look at iron, iron as such as a word in linguistics is the hardest, the toughest material in the world. So then you might think, okay, iron is needed, uh, with everybody in, in our organism to support our organs and our um, muscles with oxygen. So, uh, you know, when you have oxygen, your body is oxygenated and you have power, strength to live, to pursue your dreams, to go through the day without being too much exhausted and too much uh, tired. So when you think about iron, then the first thing that comes up to my mind when I talk about family codes or the codes of patterns, codes of certain diseases that are in the background or codes of emotional conflicts. When you have iron deficiency, you need to ask yourself a question. What prohibits me from living my life to the fullest or what makes me weak or maybe I am not able to say what I think out loud and what I feel inside or maybe my boundaries are not protected because I don't know how to do this. So when you think if you have anemia that there might be a background to it and this background is your emotions, is your words, it's biological, because every disease is biological, it's bio, so a living organism, matter, and logos, a word, thoughts, um, words that we use, that we speak to us and to other people. So, um, anemia, maybe you have no power to defend your boundaries, Think about it, consider your relationships, uh, your jobs, maybe even your family of origin. Maybe you don't have the power to say no to someone, to say, hey, stop it, I'm protecting my boundaries and myself from your influence. Maybe you don't have the voice. Sometimes anemic people are quite weak, not only in terms of their bodies that they need to rest, to survive through the day, but also weak, their voice is, is not able to, um, to achieve higher pitches or to when, when they even get angry, they are so silent and I'm so angry, I'm so angry. There's no expression. So what does that mean? That means that 
most probably it can be that anemic people lack the connection to their anger because anger is the, 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 the emotion that also drives us forward, moves us. Thanks to anger, we can change something. And people who suppress their anger and don't express it outside or don't uh, express themselves explicitly when talking to their partner, their father, their mother, uh, their um, supervisor at work, they tend to lose and weaken their internal voice and external voice as well. So what I would give, a hint I would give to people who suffer from anemia is to take a deeper look at your boundaries, at who you are, at your emotional conflicts and that and about how you allow the other people to treat you. And do you have enough stamina? Do you have enough anger potential to say no, to protect your boundaries, to think about yourself and what is good for you, to start finally being clear about what you need and expressing it to the other person talking face to face because some people you know what they do some people talk they don't tell directly they say oh this was not nice the way you behaved maybe next time it will be better but still it's okay so they diminish the problem so you need to learn to communicate to express your pain that the other person caused you or made you feel and express, gain clarity with your own needs. So we need to learn to tell the other person, hey, this behavior hurt me. Hey, I cannot allow you to treat me like this because this makes me feel this and that. Uh, as soon as we learn in our lives to be clear about how to defend ourselves, how to protect our boundaries, how to say out loud and directly what we feel, how we feel, how we express, how to express our emotions, then I believe the people with anemia would gain something very important, their attitude towards themselves and towards life would change and who knows? maybe this would in turn help to heal them from this problem. That's all for the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your likes and thank you for your subscriptions. I appreciate that you are all here. Until next time.